Hi, it's Paul Maunda from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be looking at the new Dialog Check plugin from New Gen Audio. This is an intelligibility meter designed to provide an objective measurement of speech clarity. It's designed to be used on the master fader of your session, and it supports mono, stereo, and multi-channel formats up to 7.1.4. Let's play some dialogue through this, some of which is clear and some of which isn't, and we'll have a look at the information the plugin provides. Usually is. Look, I've got an idea. Why don't you just turn around and pretend none of this ever happened? Sorry, lads. Can't let you do that. Then you leave us no choice. OK, so we got some readings from that section. I'll just run this again quietly in the background. And this is the scrolling history view, which provides a graph of clarity over time. This ties in with this 0 to 100 scale you can see on either side. As you might expect, the higher the reading for any given section, the better the dialogue intelligibility is. Green means very good, yellow sections are probably unclear, and red means the dialogue intelligibility is very poor. Sections not deemed to contain speech, such as this part, will be greyed out. On the left hand side of the plugin, there's a distribution view. This displays the statistical distribution of the readings throughout the history stored within the plugin, with colour banding to match the history view. The levels at which the distribution view goes from being shaded to unshaded show the upper quartile and lower quartile levels of the distribution. The distribution view can be used to get a quick visual overview of the distribution of dialogue clarity over the entirety of a programme. Over here, we have a real-time meter, which, with this playing quietly in the background, provides a view of the immediate dialog clarity. Then we have the real-time and statistical readouts. The real-time readout, labelled as momentary clarity, displays a numerical readout of the current dialog clarity level. The statistical readouts display information for the entire history currently stored in the plugin for the upper quartile, median, and lower quartile. The percentile levels for these readouts can be adjusted in the settings. When content is playing, the history view scrolls by default to follow the play position. That's because this track button is on, but you can always turn this off if you want to freely scroll around to see any part of the history view. We can move this around just by grabbing and dragging left or right, either here or in the timeline bar below. Dragging this timeline bar up or down will zoom in or out. We'll play one more section of dialogue and I'll reset the readings. Again, for the sake of illustration, this intentionally contains clear and unclear dialogue. What's wrong? <sighs> I found Michael's phone. It's just gone. It's just gone, it's just disappeared. Vanished? Playing silly buggers more like. Michael! Michael! Enough, boys! I'm really scared, this girl. So I'd like Michael to do something like this. Well then, Ollie, you're no longer my least favourite. Yeah, well, even I admit this isn't funny. Oh, enough of this. Ollie, help me get the boards off the window. Dialogue check factors various things into the intelligibility reading, including the loudness of the speech, loudness of the background sounds, the quality of the audio signal, including the frequency content and any distortion which might be present, plus reverberation. And importantly, it provides that objective measurement of dialogue intelligibility. So that's a quick overview and demonstration of new gen dialogue check. For more information, check out my article on the Production Expert blog or head over to newgenaudio.com. Thanks for watching.